we got off the freeway, we were going over the bridge, and uh, as we're, it's a two lane road, one in each direction, and as we're going over, there's a mother um, running down the op opposite lane of traffic, just in sheer terror. I look to my left over the, the guardrail, is her daughter. The way this guardrail is set up, you have a chain link fence that's pro probably about seven feet tall with a two foot cement guardrail on the other side. So she's she's gone over that and she's standing up on, on the freeway side of it, leaning over the freeway. From the moment we pulled up to he was out of the car, like it was happened so fast I didn't have time to even realize what he was running towards, like what, what was going on, it was so fast. And I'm leaning over, holding on to her. So um, she, she starts thrashing and she's let, let me go, let me go, I wanna die. So I shout to my father-in-law who's jumped out, the, out of the car at this point and hey, grab my leg. Aaron, come back, don't. And he was very confident. He kept saying, Don, I'm fine. I'm fine. So not only was he helping her, but he was helping me. Jumped on Aaron, trying to pull him down and held him there. His pants were starting to come off a little bit. And he was like, my pants, I'm slipping and slipping. And I'm pushing my side up against her body to keep her from moving. Um, so at this point, uh, she bites me. And I try to read, kind of redirect her head to keep her from biting me. Um, and it worked. But as, I, as she started fighting again, I adjusted my grip and she bit me again. Scared is not even the word. It was horrifying to see, you know, that happening. I can't do anything. Like, I can't get out. I can't hold his leg. I can't hold her. I can't do anything because I'm in the middle of the road in the car with a baby in the car seat. This is what they talk about when, you know, you could lose them in an instant. Like, I was like, hey, it's the time has come. I can't let go because if I let go, we're both going to fall. A uh, task hero fire department gets there. They were able to hand me a piece of webbing so we can at least secure her to the fence. So we were able to successfully do that. Uh, they cut cut the fence and um, they pull us through the fence at this point and, and she's crying and still fighting us. And I tell you, Aaron had such a hold on that girl. They pulled them through the fence together. I mean, it was like one person coming through that fence, but it was two of them. Um, one of the things that made it uh, a totally different situation than something that you would see at work is my family was there. There wasn't like the words to say like what we felt. It was just like so much relief. <sighs> but I would say it didn't really fully kick in until I was putting my, my little guy, Andrew, to bed that night. Like this could have been a lot different. My son needs a dad. And so I think that was like, added a whole nother level of relief to it. That like, he was okay, it was over, everything was done. For him to show up at that specific time, I think was really part of the plan. And, and he saved that girl's life. Him receiving this award, I couldn't think of a better guy or a better situation for this award to go to. I think it, it's very much in line and he's very well deserving of it. If something needs to get done, you're gonna do it. If, if it's to the point where it's a life or death situation, it's not a thinking point, it's just you go into action.